Good afternoon, and welcome to a sort of home vlog. We're gonna do some stuff at home, but we're also gonna go to a cool place with pumpkins yeah. and other stuff. And other things. Yeah. Uh, Cause we have a pumpkin carving thing that we're gonna be doing soon. Yeah, so we, we need, need to get to, some pumpkins. We gotta get supplies. We're gonna go to this place. We're going to the showcase of citrus. Yeah, Which is spoiler alert. Yeah, now you guys know, it's in the title. <laughs> but they have the swamp buggy like the big monster truck. Mm -hmm. And I think they have some other fall festival type things. We'll see, I don't know. We're not really sure. We're kind of going into this a little bit blind, so we're not totally sure. But we're gonna meet with some friends and we're gonna pick out our pumpkins and we're going to, I don't know, see what else they have to do. Yeah, seems like it'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, we also had a doctor's appointment today and mm -hmm. we wanted to ask you guys something because it's one of the things that we have to make the decision on soon Yeah. is cord blood. What's so, the deal with that? <laughs> well, this is, so this is like a little bit of, I guess, like a controversial issue possibly Yeah. because it has to do with stem cells. And I know that it's not something that's like readily available to be utilized yet. Right. And, but it's something that we can save our cord blood, like our umbilical cord blood. And then if in the future the baby has, or when he's a, an adult or a teen or an adolescent, if he has like cancer or a rare disease or something like that, the cord blood would be used to, I guess, cure him? Yeah, it can be used. I don't, I need to do way more research on stem cells, but uh, apparently there's a way to use stem cells in order to cure or help, of, like help your body cure itself of yeah. different diseases. But it's supposed to like, I, I guess like fast track the uh, wellness yeah. of whatever you've got going on. So our question for you guys is, did you guys get the, like, did you guys save your umbilical cord blood? There's a cryo bank where they freeze it and they save it and you have to pay a monthly fee to, for them to, to keep it. Yeah. Did you guys do that? Do you know anybody that did that? Have you even heard of this? Is this something you would do? We're just kind of curious because we, we still have a little bit of time to make the decision and I don't know. I just, we just don't know. Yeah, we were unsure, so we figured we'd ask you guys, see yeah. what you guys thought. And we're not sure of the price exactly either, so I don't know that price would matter too much to me if it meant that our baby would be okay. Right. Like, in the long run. Right. Um, I don't know. So it's just, I know this is a really weird question to start out with, and sorry, but like, what do you guys think? Yeah. Let us know. We really, really would like to hear your opinions and your thoughts on it. Another thing that happened when we were at the doctor's is they gave us this cooler to like store baby milk in for when we're out and about. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's like the highest quality cooler. And so I was wondering if you guys had a suggestion for like a small lunchbox sized cooler like this to keep milk cold in. Just a, qu a quick question. Milk. Milk. 96% <laughs> mammal milk. So I did wanna like also kind of address something that we had in a video that we just put out. So we just put out our final illuminations video. And in that video, I wrote the Skyliner to go to Epcot and since then there's been an incident where some cabins collided with each other and some people were stuck up on the line for three hours and I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering like do I still feel the same way about the Skyliner and uh kind of <laughs> like it was a good mode of transportation I'm hoping that this was just kind of like a one-time thing I hope that this doesn't become an issue all the time where cabins are just like running into each other I'm hoping that it was like a one in a million fluke because these systems are running all over the world all up like ski mountains use this gondola system to transport people up and down mountains and it, they haven't had issues with them so i'm just trying to like i don't know exactly what happened and i'm kind of waiting for disney to say what their final outcome was of their investigation into what happened i know that the way that it looks it looks like the cabin that was leaving the riviera station to epcot stalled or something and didn't catch the line and then the ones behind it just kind of like gently ran into it and that caused it to kind of like tilt up and broke the glass on it and then the other ones were kind of tilted sideways and so and nobody was hurt but i i don't think that that would happen more than once hopefully they fix the issue so i don't know as soon as it opens again i think i might go and ride it just to see i don't know it was a good mode of transportation like i'm i'm optimistic for the skyliner I'm hoping that this doesn't happen all the time and that this was just a one-time, like, really, really random occurrence. We'll see what happens, though. What do you think about the Skyliner?
Okay, so I feel a little bit differently about the Skyliner. Like, I was scared to begin with, and then I rode it, and it was actually a really nice ride, and I'll put that video down below where we, like, actually rode the Skyliner for the first time. But, so after the whole stuff with the monorail, and, like, after being on the monorail when it, like, stops for a long time, and, and you just don't know what's going on, and that's why we don't ride the monorail, because I'm afraid of it, so we only take the ferry into Magic Kingdom. So... I imagine that I'll do the same thing with the Skyliner. I won't, I won't ride it anymore. And I think that that's because I would not want, I know that the people were stuck at night, which was um, a much better situation for them to be stuck in. Nobody wants to be stuck. It was a terrible situation, but it was much better that they were stuck at night and not in the daytime. Cause that could have been bad, you know? Um, so I would hate to be even have a, a, even a like minute possibility to be stuck during the day. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, and we go during the day a lot. So I imagine I probably won't ride it again. And I definitely wouldn't want to take our kid on it. Like, right? I don't know. I'm afraid now. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? Are you going to ride it if it's back up and running when you have your trip? Like when you're here? Like we are totally split. So, and I almost don't want you to ride it. Well, but nobody got hurt. But that doesn't mean that nobody couldn't get hurt. Well, yeah, but I mean, somebody could get hurt riding a Disney bus. That's I don't ride the Disney buses. I'm afraid of those, too, because one of those almost sideswiped us off the road. Like, I just don't love Disney transportation. The boat, the ferry, seems like the safest option. I think it's, it's like only four feet deep in all of that lake. I, that's what I mean. Like, it's very, like, what could go wrong? Like, not much. So, like, the ferry... Two thumbs up. All right, so we just got back from the specialist. Oh, really quick. So I'm inserting this into yesterday's video. So this is gonna seem kind of out of place. So sorry about that. But we just wanted to let you guys know what was going on though. Yeah, we wanted to give you a full like update because then after this, you're gonna see some more stuff from yesterday. Yeah. So anyway, I just want to give you guys a full update with what's going on with the baby. So we had our regular doctor's appointment where we talked about the umbilical cord blood, like bank stuff. Yeah. Which I think we are probably gonna do. I think so. Um, still leave us comments though, cause I'd love to get your guys' like opinion and what you guys think about it. But then we also had our specialist appointment today. Right. And I think we found out that I'm probably definitely gonna have to have a C-section. And probably going to have a baby early. I think so. I think um, my, our doctor was saying that he doesn't think that I'm going to make it all the way to. No, it's not that you're not going to make it. What happens is as the baby grows, the area that contains the baby is stretching out. Mm -hmm. And right now the placenta is sitting low and attached to that, I believe the cervix. Mm -hmm. And if that stretches out underneath the placenta and then the placenta starts to bleed, that's bad. Right, right. And that's what we don't want to have happen. So he's weighing the, the differences between leaving the baby in and doing a regular birth or taking the baby out early and doing a C-section mm -hmm. and the risks of like bleeding and stuff like that. It, I think, yeah. So basically the situation that I'm in, it just would probably be safer to do the C-section. I think it's the only option. Right. So that's so, the situation. And it hasn't, it hasn't moved at all. So right. it's just, it is what it is. And, um, so now we're really like, we're going to have a baby in like a month. Yeah. So like in four weeks we go back to the specialist and he's probably just going to be like, all right, let's, let's get the baby out next week. Yeah. So it's literally, I it just, it's just like really insane to think about the fact that in a month we're going to have, we're going to have our baby in a month. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. So we're going to get uh, like our go bag done. We didn't do that yet. So we're going to get our go bag done today. Um, you guys left us some really great uh, comments and things about stuff that we should bring and stuff that you guys brought. And um, if you have any more comments you want to leave about that, please do. Mm. Little baby bean, are you ready to have a little brother in one month? If you see his little tail, it's waggling. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. And a lot of you guys told us to bring home the, the blanket that the baby has at the hospital so Bandit can smell it. So we're going to do that yeah. so that he's ready for the little baby boy. By the way, did you guys see his his blindness just then when Jen moved her arm and he kind of like flinched? That's because oh, yeah. he's, he's not sure of what's going on. I think he can see light. Yeah. I think that's where we're at with like his vision because... When he comes in from outside, that's when he is like completely blind because the difference between the the inside light and the outside light is so outside is so much brighter than inside, you know. 
Yeah. Okay, bye. Oh, no. <laughs> He's like, I'm not here anymore. <laughs> see you later, dudes. No, oh, little baby bean. I'm excited to see like how he reacts yeah we're gonna start a new channel it's called bandit reacts <laughs> to the baby yeah i think he's gonna be good he's gonna be a good big brother right beans also another thing was that some of you guys have been asking about the baby's name yeah and uh we haven't quite landed on one yet well okay so here's the thing we have met a lot of you guys in the parks and just out and about and you guys always ask us what's the name do you have a name and we had picked out names when we originally first started trying to get pregnant mm -hmm. so we knew what the names were going to be. And we, we do know what his name is going to be. But then I had this dream that his name was something different. And then I kept getting all these weird signs that that was also like, that that was his name, the, right. the different name. And so then I thought like, well, should that be his name? But I think we've landed on the first name because that was the name we originally picked out like six years ago. Right. And we're not going to tell anybody yet. We want to wait until he's born. Right. So we will tell you guys, but it'll just be after he's born. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Did any of you guys have trouble picking out a name? Or did you wait until they were born to pick? Like to or... see them? Yeah. Somebody said um, you like... might want to wait until you see him. But I feel like babies just look like babies. Well, what if we see him and we're like, oh, his name's Bandit. <laughs> no, we're not naming him Bandit. <laughs> um, but I don't know. So that's... I, I know we're asking you guys to leave like a million comments, but um, I think it's just really, he's coming so soon. So now we have like a million questions for you guys. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I still can't believe we're going to literally have our baby in one month. I don't know. So we're very excited and we're very, I don't know if I'm, I'm nervous for the C-section. Right. I think everybody's nervous for giving birth. Right. I think that's just like a, yeah, a, that's just going to be like a, a big thing. Right. Yeah. So anyway, but anyway, so yeah, now I'm just rambling, but we're going to have a baby in a month. Yeah. <laughs> but before any of that happens, um, we're going to have a pumpkin party actually tomorrow. So we're going to head to the store and get all of the things that we didn't already get for the pumpkin party. Yeah. And that's actually going to be in a different video. That'll just be like our party video. Right. So um, you'll see that in a couple of days or tomorrow, two days tomorrow. I'm not sure. Right. But for right now... Let's go to the Showcase of Citrus. Yeah. So we're on our way to the Showcase of Citrus right now. Sorry if it's very loud, but this is the weather that we're going to be like strolling up to Showcase of Citrus with. Oh no. Is this a bad idea? Yeah. Ding dang. You guys, what do we do? Where did this come from? Uh, where is it going to go? I don't know. <laughs> where did it come from? <laughs> Bad night, Joe. <laughs> this is crazy. They did say that the monster truck still runs in the rain, so <laughs> we'll see about that. You don't want to ride in it? Well, I think we would get soaked. We have umbrellas. You can't have an umbrella open on the monster truck. Oh. Well, well, we'll show you guys when we get there. All right, we're here. This is it. Is that it? Yeah, that's showcase the citrus. Oh, wow. Oh, they've got a little hay bale with a cat on it. Oh. Oh, there's a pumpkin right there. Oh yeah, look, there's a pumpkin hay bale. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Everything's like flooded. Look at that shark. Oh, is... we can read the weather station. Oh, good. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Is this a parking spot? Yeah. Okay, it's wet, so that means that it's raining right now. Thanks, weather station. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like a, like a Florida summer afternoon, but not summer at all. By the way, do you guys see these sandhill cranes over here? There they are. Getting some stuff out of the little swampy swamp. So we're here, showcase the citrus. It actually stopped raining a little bit, so we, we probably should have waited like five minutes and it would have been fine. Yeah. But we have actually been here before, you have. Yeah. So I'm gonna link that video down below because I think the weather was a little bit better than oh, that. Oh yeah. But we'll link that video down below. You can see what we did then. Um, but I was in the bathroom and they had all these advertisements for their orange juice slushy it's like their famous orange juice slushy yeah and uh we'll kind of guess show you guys around the gift shop yeah while well, it's still raining and they sell boiled peanuts here and one hot dog i love boiled peanuts <laughs> they have cajun and regular so maybe we'll get some yeah they look good did you see that lightning yeah it's kind of scary there it is the one hot dog it looks pretty good actually it's a good looking hot dog i kind of kind of want that and there's jen's boiled peanuts here Cajun and regular. And we're actually here with Jim and Nicole. And Jim has some cheer wine. And Nicole has the world famous orange juice slushy. 
I'm getting all of my vitamin C for the month in one cup. <laughs> I had a little sip of it. It's really good. It tastes like real orange juice, not like concentrate, you know? And they sell a bunch of like um, retro sodas. So. And that cup is biodegradable because it's made of plant material. Nice. <laughs> so Jen got the creamsicle slushy, which is a mix between like slushy orange juice and vanilla soft serve. I feel like I'm on vacation. But and they said we can take these on the swamp buggy, so let's go. Oh by the way, we're going on the swamp buggy. Yeah. Oh it's uh it's raining more now. This is just how it is to be a Floridian. Like if you wait for the rain to stop, you'll never have fun. Good news, I don't have to worry about the rain because I brought my umbrella. <laughs> oh it's happening. We're doing it. We Oh, we're gonna be so soaked by the end of this. Oh, we went through like a, a river. Look at all that water. They got the sprinklers on just in case. Watering the blueberries. Well, test number 16 of the G7X Mark III. See how well it handles the rain. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Gonna get nice and wet today. I believe you. In me? What about the camera? Are you having fun? I actually am having fun. Oh, wait. What is it? What is it? Turkeys. We're monster trucking through the woods in the rain. <laughs> oh yeah. An old whiskey truck out there. And some cows. There's the cows. It's like being on the safari at Disney. Oh no, we're going into the swamp. Oh yeah, there is a tire right there. There's a spooky dog skeleton that has human bones. This is exciting. Hey there, cows. How you guys doing? Oh, it's time to feed the cows. Oh yeah, you guys hungry? Whoa, that's a big old cow. Doesn't that one look like it's pregnant? Or is that just what they look like? I think they're just big. I don't have a whole lot because we don't have a lot, whole lot on the trees right now. This one is raring for some, some oranges. But who wants one? How about this guy? <laughs> you got any other veterans on the bus? This one? It's gonna be a cow fight. Thank you, sir. Marines. He was Navy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We all did the job. Thank you for paving the way for me. I got that thing. Oh no. Paving the way for me to go. Um, I threw it out and it like didn't say, even want it. Angus oh no, which one? Back here. Jen was trying to figure out why the cow didn't eat her orange. And then I look to where Jen threw it, right in the cow pie. Oh, no. Thanks for letting us throw some oranges at you guys. Oh, it's gonna try the pumpkin. Let's see. Does it like it? How they're all looking at it, like what? Nope. Doesn't like the pumpkin. Ooh, cow fight. Oh, 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 oh! Missed out. That one's a bully. What? Yeah. Yeah. She was. She was like headbutting her. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no. Alright, we got a Texas Longhorn and a Watusi. Which one's which? Texas Longhorn's on the left. His horns are solid uh, from point to point. They're a little over six feet wide. They're solid, made out of keratin, stuff your fingernails are made out of. And that's the Watusi. The Watusi, big guy right here looking at it. Inside of his horns are actually hollow. He pumps the blood into the horns. It's honeycomb and shaped inside. Once the blood is pumped into his horns, he gets air cooled and he pumps it back into his body. The only solid part on his horns are the last eight inches where the points are. The rest of it's hollow. His horns are very lightweight, unlike that guy over there. The Texas Longhorn, you can cut his horns off right by the skull. He won't bleed. There's no blood vessels in there. This one here, if you cut his horn off, he would actually bleed to death due to major arteries and veins that feed his horns. Some zebras coming over. One's named Barcode, on, and they're having a contest to name the other the one. one. And the leading name right now is Scanner. So that's Barcode no in front here. For... Oh, they're going for it. They don't. They don't want it. They don't like pumpkin. Ooh. Be nice. There it is. There's a look at the bus that we're on right now. Not the one that we're on, but one very similar to the one that we're on. Except for ours had bench seats rather than the normal bus seats like this. Is that one bigger than the one that we were on too? Just to give you a perspective of how big the tires are on one of these. There's Jen standing next to it. <laughs> a month ago, the swap was above them tires. That's what Ooh. I said, the short bus, we couldn't take it in there because it was actually coming through the floorboard of the short bus. Oh, this is the tall bus. This is the big one. Oh. 
So we were on that one. Look at this beautiful scene in the river here. Oh my gosh, there's a fake alligator right there. Look out, everybody be careful. There's, oh my God, what's happening? Oh no! We came to see the donkey and the horse. I don't know that we're gonna feed them because they might fart on us. Who's the little baby gator right there? Look at him. This is it right here. I'm so good at petting cats. It likes it, I think. I like this. What is it? Citrus blossom hand wash. Ooh. I like how unflattering the lighting is in all of these areas. There's so many bugs in my nose. <laughs> they have all of these different kinds of jams with fun names like monkey butter Ooh. or traffic jam. Did you see the toe jam? Some toe jam. This one was tangerine, orange, and elderberry. Oh, that's weird. What's, What's in the, is the gator one have gators in it? Oh no, gator is ginger, apple, tangerine, orange, and raspberry. That sounds good though. Oh, it's an acronym. Can we feed an emu a carrot? Do you want a carrot emu? Do you want the carrot? I don't know. He's like, oh, 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 you gonna, oh, oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, you took it all. <laughs> that was frightening. Hello. Go. There, you got it. Gotta go around the other side. Okay. Here, 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 look. I'm distracting you, goat. I've got the stuff. I got, no, no, he figured me out. That is so aggressive. Well, that's what goats are. I already gave you some. <laughs> there's some, like, farmyard hierarchy going on. Oh, by the way, there's kangaroo. But we were trying to feed the kangaroo. We threw it over to him, and he was just eating it so gingerly. And then the emu just stole it right out of his hand. Yeah. I think this is like a like a soap opera. It's like right? days of our farm. Days of our farm. <laughs> Look at the emu's little wings. <laughs> oh, they sell all kinds of honey over here. And there's like music coming from somewhere, but I can't tell where. Look at this old Studebaker truck. Look at this. That's pretty neat. They have all these pumpkins out here for sale. Look at all these different kinds of pumpkins. What are these? Look at them. They're all like bumpy wow oh, i thought that one had a beret on i think that that's the sound system these are awesome they have arts and crafts out here for the kids to do you can paint a pumpkin i feel like we could write a song about pumpkins here like big pumpkins little pumpkins pumpkins all sizes this pumpkin looks like a weird bumpy pumpkin i like how this one kind of looks like a giant pumpkin tomato there's all kinds of different honeys that you can sample over here and they have these like eco-friendly like testers i'm trying the hot honey is it really hot? No. Ooh, it's good. It's just like a little back of the throat, like heat. I really like the lavender honey. That was good. I didn't try the orange blossom honey though, so I'm gonna try that. I think we should just ask the true <laughs> critic. That was a fun and productive trip out to show showcase the citrus. To me, this was like a Florida day. Yeah. Raining, swamp buggy, <laughs> through the woods, seeing some wild turkeys. And we got to feed the cows, and we got to feed like the farm animals. Yeah. We got to try the local honey. Um, there's so much cool stuff here. They had like local hot sauce. They had all these like local made wines that were made from different fruits that they have here on this um, property. Yeah. I want to come back and do the You Pick the Fruit. Oh yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. But now we're going over to Chewy's to get some <laughs> dinner. We didn't actually buy any pumpkins, which is the whole reason why we came was for pumpkins. So um, we'll have to do that in another video. But yeah, but yeah we're going to go to Chewy's. Yeah, let's do it. But before we leave, I did want to show you guys kind of an overview of what Showcase of Citrus is. It's like an outdoor farmer's market, as well as the monster trucks and the U pick area back in the back. We can get all kinds of stuff in here. Here we are. We're going to Chewy's. Yum. Mexican food. This place is amazing. Also, it's on 192, kind of right behind Disney. Oh yeah. So we're in Chewy's now, and these are the two things that they bring you out some like chips, and then you get salsa, and then you have to order this creamy jalapeno dipping sauce. It's so good. So darn good. And like the, the salsa is really good. Is spicy compared to this jalapeno, <laughs> creamy jalapeno sauce. But it's like a good spice. Yeah. It's delicious. Unlike those bad spices. <laughs> Here's what I got. I got the chewy chunga, which is just a chimichanga. I'm so sad I didn't order that. It looks oh no. delicious. Well, you got three tacos though. I didn't think it came with three tacos. 
Yeah, they they're really huge. Good. Yeah, I know. You're gonna have to help me eat it. Okay. Look at Nicole's taco salad. This looks, it's like a guacamole salad, but it looks so delicious. I love that. You wanna show yours too? And then Jim got some guacamole tacos. Super green. Everything looks so good. Oh my gosh. We are back home now after a very enjoyable day in the rain. Like we got soaked on that monster truck ride, but it was fun. It was really fun. We sat down and literally the seats just soaked right through all of our pants. <laughs> yeah, it was like sitting on a sponge that was just full of water. Yeah, but honestly, like because it was raining, it was super enjoyable because there was a lot of like nice breeze. It wasn't super hot. All the animals came out. I yeah, think, we like, saw like a lot of turkeys. Yeah. Well, and all the cows were just like coming right up to the swamp buggy. We got to throw oranges at them and feed them. And we it didn't was throw just, oranges at them. We threw well, oranges to them. <laughs> like near near their mouths. But it was uh, it was really cool. And then yeah. I think going to the... It's kind of just like a big farmer's market, really. Mm -hmm. But it was neat to see all of the like local... Like the locally grown stuff. Yeah, local honey and local... And we got to feed the animals, the little like uh, oh, barnyard yeah. animals. That was really fun. And I think the coolest thing that I learned today that I... When he first said this, I kind of thought he was joking. But it wasn't a joke. He was being honest that the oranges that you see at the store they inject them with food coloring yeah i didn't know they did that i don't i i uh we might have to fact check that one you don't think that's true i don't know have you guys ever heard that fact i mean i don't know why he would lie to us I mean, he has no reason to yeah. but he said that valencia oranges are like yellowish well the ones that we saw so he he held one up and he was like you know do you know why the oranges like why this orange looks different than the one at the stores and it was like a very like muted orange and then green it was like green and orange yeah and we were all like i don't know why because they inject food coloring into the ones at the stores so people will buy them yeah which i mean that makes sense you want it to be like visually appealing right uh, another thing that he said that was really interesting that i didn't know was that the zebras did you tell did you already tell them yeah. this they don't get bitten by the horse flies. So there are these big flies that we have. And I'm sure they're not just in Florida. Right. But they, um, like they, oh, that's bandit. <laughs> they, um, they bite all like the cows, like they, they bother the cows and stuff. Right. And so they never bother the zebras. The zebras never have these like bug issues because bugs have what's called complex vision where they can look at like thousands of things at once. Right because of the way that their eyes are. And so when they look at a zebra, they get confused. They can't tell where to land because of the stripes right. on the zebra's skin. So they just don't land on them. Right. So there's Bandit. But that's, I never, I didn't know that. Yeah, I had me no neither. I've never heard that before in my life. So if you don't want to get bit by horse flies while you're in Florida, just wear zebra print. It'll confuse the bugs. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, so I think Bandit wants to play with us. So I yeah. think we're going to have to call this video a day. It's playtime. Yeah, so with that being said, we are off, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Hi, I'm Dalton at D23 Expo, and now it's time to pay the price.